Hello, in this Dot .files insight, I want to show you how you can create your own custom waiver theme. Let's move to Thuna, the file manager, and the Dot .files of the Hyperland setup are stored in the Dot .files folder. The waiver configuration is in the waiver folder, and the themes are located in the themes folder. A good starting point for your own custom theme is this starter folder. And my recommendation is that you copy that folder and rename it. I name the folder Stefan. I double click. And then you have here all files that are needed to define your own custom waiver theme. Let's move to code and open that these files in the new folder Stefan. Let's start with the config.sh file. Here you can define the name. I name it Stefan theme and I save it. And now you can already select the theme in the waiver theme switcher. There are two ways to open the theme switcher. You can use the welcome app, click on settings, and change waiver theme. Now you can search, in my case for Stefan, and I can click it, and now the new theme is already activated. You know you can also access the theme switcher with command super T, and you can select your theme with that way as well. Okay, now we can start to configure the theme. Let's start with the config file. In the config file, you can define the position of the modules, the waiver modules, or you can add more modules if you want. Um, I want to move the workspace switcher to the left side and the name of the open window to the center. That's easy. I move the module Hyperland workspaces after the quick link section and I move the window into the center. Take care that the comma is set correctly. Now it should work. And you can reload now the waiver theme with that new configuration by using the welcome app or you can just use, and this is much faster, Shift Super B. And now you see the new configuration, the window title in the middle, the workspace switcher on the left side. Now I want to remove here this label. This is here a custom module, custom starter, and I can reload. And now that label is removed. The module configuration is stored in the modules.json file. But you see here that it's still referring to the starter modules.json file, and you have to change this to Stefan in my case. Let's go ahead and create another quick link here on the top. You know that with this one you can open Chromium. And I want to change it to Firefox. Let's close Chromium again. And now we move to modules. In modules, you define the parameters of the modules for your waiver theme. Let's move down and search for the quick links section. This is here. You know, here we have, you see that we have a custom module file manager and a custom module browser. And now we need to search for the custom module browser. Here is the browser. And at the moment it uses the settings of the dot files, but you can also remove this if you like and enter here Firefox. Save it and reload. And now you see that with click on that icon, Firefox starts. You can also add another module, another quick link. Let's name this Alacrity. 
it's the custom alacrity module and no surprise we want to start alacrity and also want to use another icon and you can find the icons in the font awesome cheat sheet i suggest to filter only for free icons and maybe let's search for terminal here is a terminal icon let's take this click here on the copy glyph and now we go back to the modules.json file and paste the icon in there is in code no preview for the icon but when i open this file with wim then and scroll down then you see here the correct icon now we need to add this module to the quick links group this is here and i do this by adding here a new line Alacrity, take care on the comma, save the file with super key, shift B, I reload the file and you see here now the new icon. You can click the icon and Alacrity starts. Okay, now let's change here the layout of that icon because you see it's a bit too small and you do this here in the style.css. In the style.css you can define all colors, font sizes, fonts, so the whole layout of the waybar. So let's scroll down. And you see here already there's a section for the custom quick links. And I add here just a line custom alacrity. Click on save and reload waybar. And you see the icon is now a bit bigger and fits better to the overall layout on the top you can see some predefined colors for example the icon color i can change this to black black are six zeros and reload it and now you see you have here black icons and waiver has a great documentation you find the link in the description of the video and if you scroll down you come here to that link, see the wiki for more details. And now you have the list here on the right side of all available modules for Waiver. And with that, have fun with creating your own custom Waiver theme in the dot .files.